while I'm sitting here with the lockdown, I'm going to show you guys how I operate my uh, sounders. So I've got uh, Lawrence, these Lawrence Lives. They're pretty much the same as the old Lawrence Carbon. There's a few extra features. The way these sounders talk to each other is simply with a $30 network cable. This one here, and it's a yellow. And that will go straight into the back of this one. And you can actually network um, Lawrence with Simrad. These are like pre-made maps. Um, screens pre-made screens and you can make your own by dropping and dragging etc mainly my GPS this is mainly my sounder so my GPS is simple I have one zoomed and one not zoomed so when I'm driving somewhere I don't have to continuously zoom in and zoom out I've just got two screens I find it navigating really easy I use side scan for finding reefs squid grounds, whiting grounds, lots of different things, schools of salmon, top water fish. I've got two size scan modules or screens I use. And the main, this one here is for when I'm searching. I just have the whole, so that's the left side scan, and that's the right side scan. And then if I find the reef, say I find a reef here, I'll hit a GPS mark out there, hit go new waypoint, and then it will take us to that reef. And then I'll shoot back to this screen, the reef marked, right? Let's say this is the reef. So what I'll do is I'll go over to the reef, and using the side scan part of it, I'll mark the reef i won't just put one mark on it i'll put the edges so i'll mark i'll have like there'll be four or five gps marks and i'll mark the edge how big it is and then right around so then when i anchor i know exactly where i'm anchoring so next time you go there you've got a full perimeter of them of the reef essentially you want to fish on the edge of the reef not smack on it settings for side scan so if we go to side scan are just pretty basic i don't mess with the range too much anymore because what it does if you mess with the range like say i go right out like that 40 meters you think oh that's good but what what is what the problem is is it's hard to see something that on the 25 meter so say if there's a little rock there right and it's really hard to see when i go to 40 meters it'll be impossible to see because it compresses the image down so if i just leave it on 25 meters I can get accustomed to it and I can start to work out stuff. A perfect example in the bay, how this is really good. You'll see, say you find a, a school of salmon and they're out here and you'll see the, all these little white dots together. Bang, 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 bang. And then you can effectively go, you can have a guess and go, all right, it's roughly, because you don't, you're not gonna know exactly, but you can have a good educated guess and pepper the lure to the area, so it'll be off to the side that way. And you can GPS it, and then, so 149, and then it'll show it on the map. So if I go GPS, bang, there's a GPS. Switch over, bang, there it is out there. We're here, there it is there. That's how I utilize the old side scan. I've got two transducers, one on the left and one on the right. I've got, I have, so the other pallets I use is, so you say I'm out in the mud and I'm sounding, it's it's middle of the snapper season, just can't find the fish. So I'll have two screens up and I'm just sounding around. This one's running the, um, the site three in one transducer, this one's running the TM175 high wide, but I can access both um, transducers on the, 
on each different unit by the networking I've got going. We'll set this chat, this unit has got the 175. So this will be not zoomed. I want the arch to be nearly a meter, so from 22 to half of that. So if I go like that, there's nothing here. So I'm gonna go to another spot. Fishing out of Frankston and have a look at this, boys. Yippee! And this will be zoomed. So I'm just sanding around and that's pretty self-explanatory. And then for the sensitivity, I normally use it in auto and then I might, there's these settings, it's plus one or minus, minus one. And they're, they're basically, that's how I roll because auto detects the water clarity quicker than I can humanly do it. So that's why I do it. I run high chirp and I've got a 25 degree beam, uh, pallet 13, no split. And then I don't have a scope. Surface clarity, I'll have that off. Voice rejection off, surface, surface clarity off. Scroll speed normal, ping max, channel, channel one, channel two, and then channel one, channel two. So essentially I can have four transducers on these two Lorentz. But I'll, that would be just madness. And then, okay, so that's that. That's how I do my sounding. Um, yeah, that's, that's how I roll. I don't know if it's the best way to roll, but it works for me. Really lush, we should, we should have just probably gone on the 10, but the tides aren't the best today. What are we going for first, Squid? Squid, I think. Alright, so we've got 19 to go. Put that bait in there. Put the dogs in here. It's gonna go. It's a good patch there. Oh, yes. Oh. I don't know which rod I want to use. I mean, it's really? decisive. This one feels so nice, but that's my lucky rod when it comes to squid. Wrong! Cuddlefish. Big dog. It's so easy, it's a good cuddle dog. Yeah, it's a cuddle. <sighs> that might have been a big squid. That could have been a squid, you know. Or was it a tw Was it? Feel it, if it's got slimy, it was a squid. That's a squid, feel down here. Big squid. That was a mother. Fuck. The other rod, I think. Oh, that's a big mother. See, he doesn't know he's hooked yet. Yeah. Give him a pull. It's a big mother. Yeah, he's hooked down. It's a dog. Might be a calamari. Might be a calamari. GPS mark. Double flag. Because they're big dogs are in. Man, this is a thumper. little uh tank tankerelli look at how fat he is yeah all right let's let him go ah! look here he goes oh big dog that's a squid that's a good squid 
To you. That's it. He's a sh he's pretty shit, really, isn't he? <laughs> I don't even know why we hold him up. Put him back away.